Howdy folks, I'm Fishing with Dom. I'm gonna show you today how to make a walleye ke harness keeper. Stay tuned, here we go. This is gonna be fun. Ah! Today I'm gonna show you how to make your own keeper for your walleye crawler harnesses. Now, these don't have to just be used for your walleye harnesses. They can be used for all sorts of fishing rigs, but most of the time where I'm from, this is something we do to keep our night crawler harnesses tangle free and all put together. I just got to the Dollar General. We're gonna run inside, get the components we need, and then I'm gonna show you what you need to build one of these bad lads for very, very cheap, very, very affordable. All right, first thing we're gonna need is a pool noodle. Um, Hardest part about making one of these, got to pick the color. I, have a lot, I like orange, uh, pink's a good choice, but I think I'm gonna go with royal blue. All right, we got the first thing we need. Let's go see if we can find something else. All right, coming into the hardware section here. Uh, not a lot to choose from, but generally speaking, when you're making your own harness keeper, Nails will do, just get yourself some cheap nails, get this whole packet for $1.75, uh, we'll take it, there we go. So I'll grab this, grab my nails, or grab my nails and my pool noodle and we're going to go check out. We are at the park. So we're here at my favorite local roadside park on beautiful... M46 in Michigan's fabulous thumb. I'm going to show you what you need to make one of these as far as the tools go. We know what we need as far as components to build this. You've got your tube that I've already cut. I'll go over measurements uh, at the end of the video. And I've got some nails. I've got a pack of nails I found actually up at the front of the store. I didn't end up buying that package that I showed on camera. But I did find the type of nails I was specifically looking for. You're going to have all your tools out. Tape measure is handy, but you don't need to be as direct as I am when I do this. I like to be very specific. Everything has to have an order. That's how it is in my tackle box, and that's how it is with my life. With your knife, it doesn't have to be a sharp knife. I use my just regular fillet knife, and I take the tape measure. This piece of foam I got for this roller is just a hair under 13 inches long. It's a little over a foot. What I'm going to do, take my tape measure back out, every inch on this foam roll, I'm going to make a cut. Plain and simple. I'm going to hold it down just like this, and at the one inch mark, I'm going to tuck the blade underneath the foam. And I'm not going to cut very deep through. I'm just going to go as deep as the blade, just like that. Not too deep. I don't need to go into this pilot hole just as deep as the blade every inch or so. And I'm going to make a couple more cuts here. Now this is fabulous. The Lindy rollers that you put your rigs on, they're fantastic. But if you've got a lot of rigs and you like to tie them yourself, uh, and you don't want to spend the money on a whole bunch of rig keepers, this is an excellent option to make a rig keeper for all sorts of fishing rigs, not just walleye harnesses, for under $5. Pool noodle, three bucks. I've, I got a pack of 20 roofing nails for, a, uh, I believe they were $1.25, and that's it. That's all you need, necessarily. You're going to take your crawler harnesses. I picked up a whole bunch of these Berkeley flicker harnesses, uh, quality components, they've got great hooks, excellent patterns on the blade, and you're going to take them out of the package, and what tedious work it is, you're going to untangle them. Now mind you, these are four foot long, they can get tangled very easily, take your time unraveling them, that's a little bit of advice I can shed in this video, take your time untangling your crawler harness rigs. In fact, if anything's ever tangled up, take your time working it out, that's for sure. Uh, 48 inches long, that's just about the average length for trolling harnesses. My drifting harnesses 
that I bottom bounce with on River Systems. Those are generally shorter. I keep those about 18 to 20 inches, and I'll make an entirely different roller with my drifting harnesses. So when I'm out in the boat and I have these longer ones, I don't have to worry about you know trimming it down a little bit if need be. Now, this is just about untangled. There we go, we got it. We got it. You got the loop right here, and I've got the blade, the beads, and the hooks right here. And I'm gonna go to my first cut on this foam roller, right there. I'm gonna start left to right. You start whatever way you want to. And you're going to take the loop end and the end that goes to your hooks and just put it down into that cut you made. And before you get to wrapping, the harness is sticking inside the foam and you've got your loop right there. This is when I take the nail and I'll put it inside the loop and, I, and relatively tightly I will run the nail up to the foam in the line and push the nail in just like that. The loop is around the nail, the nail is in the foam, the line is through that cut we made and I'm just going to wrap it several times around the foam and into that cut we made. Now, larger pool noodle, you're not going to have to wrap it around so many. And then once you get to the end, wham bam turkey and ham, all you're going to do is take that hook and just cinch it down into the foam. And just like that, you've got a tangle free harness keeper. Let's do it one more time. Now, this isn't a Berkeley flicker rig. This is just a Berkeley walleye rig with an Indiana blade. I'm going to put this on there as well. Untangle it in no time. Hopefully. And we can rig it, and I will show you how to do it one more time in case I was talking a little too fast. But uh, in the meantime, let me fill this up with a little bit of conversation. I hope everybody watching my videos has been doing very well. It's a beautiful late summer day or early summer day actually it feels like late summer uh time the summer's not going by too fast that's a good thing but very very hot out so i decided it'd be a great day to come out here and film i like filming at this park but what concerns me with filming here is the noise from the highway behind me if you have a problem with the noise in the background uh let me know in the comment section below i would really really appreciate it because that kind of stuff drives me crazy. You know, if if there's a little thing that's bothering me in my videos, I, I don't know if the viewers are digging it or not. But just let me know if the traffic in the background is an issue. Now, take your time unraveling your crawler harnesses. So you don't have a mess. We got our loop in my right hand. We've got our blade and hooks on this end. And just like the last time, I'm going to find my next cut. Where is that cut? Where is that? Right here. I'm going to find my next cut. And right up to the loop, I'm going to stick that line right in there to where it's just the knot of the loop exposed outside of the cut. Pick up the slack of the loop with a nail and insert it. Just like that. Tighten it up just a hair and just wrap it through that cut as many times as it takes. Now, a trick to doing this, you want to pull on your hooks before you set them in the foam. Uh, do the front hook first, because if you do the back hook first, it's gonna give it a little bit of slack and might lead to tangle or coming undone. You take that back hook and just pull her tight and cinch her down into the foam. Just like that, we're making we're making walleye crawler harnesses. It, it it can't get any easier than this. I like messing around with tackle and having all sorts of fun with it. You know, for five dollars, you build your own roller. You can get a Sterlite tote or a big, bigger empty tackle box and just throw this right in there, and you can have hundreds of walleye harnesses ready to go at a moment's notice. But what you need, pool noodle. 
some roofing nails. I recommend roofing nails. They've got the big heads to them. They don't have really sharp points. They're nice and big. A knife. And if you want, you can eyeball it if you want to. Good old fashioned tape measure. You can't beat it. And some walleye harnesses. I've got a drifting harness right here. I'm gonna make another one of these after I'm done filming this. Uh, so I have my trolling harnesses and my drifting harnesses separated. But that's what I got for you today. If you have any questions about what I do, maybe recommend something. If I did something wrong, by all means, call me out on it. You can holler at me on my social media handles, at Fishing with Dom on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and the YouTube comment section below. But until next time, I'm Fishing with Dom. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day and a happy 4th of July. Bye-bye.